from the News Channel 5 Network. This is Score Connect. Hi, and welcome to Score Connect. SCORE is a national organization with regional chapters of volunteers that help entrepreneurs and small business owners succeed. We are so excited to be relaunching this show with News Channel 5 Plus to bring you access to Nashville's community business leaders. To kick us off for our first inaugural news show is Lisa O'Dell, the chair of the SCORE Nashville chapter. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, absolutely. I've been a mentor with SCORE Nashville for over five years now. Yes, you have. It's been a minute. It's been a minute, but I am so excited to be here to broadcast our message and our mission a little bit further, uh, both with the television show and our new podcast. I really appreciate you having me, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you being a part of SCORE as well. <laughs> it's been really amazing. It's not only great for the, uh, the work that we get to do with the mm -hmm. clients, our small business owners, but it's also great to just have the connectivity that SCORE brings through the mentors and our subject matter experts, which I'd love for you to tell me all about. So for those of you who are new and are just learning about SCORE, would love to learn more about the organization and specifically what the Nashville chapter is doing. Absolutely. So SCORE was started in 1964. Mm -hmm. And at that point, it, they focused on having retired executives. Mm -hmm. to help small businesses and that made a lot of sense because those people had all the expertise. Since then obviously it's morphed and there are a lot of people that are retired but now we've got the opportunity to have a lot of people who want to give back while they're still working. Yeah. So <laughs> and <laughs> yes <laughs> I'll be a prime example here yeah. but we have about 66 volunteers. Everyone is a volunteer. Of those, we probably have 30 mentors. Mm -hmm. A mentor is a person that can basically take someone from step A to step Z and mm -hmm. get their business launched. Mm -hmm. And then we have subject matter experts. And those are the people that all of us mentors rely on because they <laughs> know the stuff that we don't. So there are a lot of things that we need in terms of help about social media, for example. Right, right, because it's, it's subject matter experts are people who are um, maybe volunteering less of their time, but the time that they're giving is hyper-specialized in the thing yes. that they are an expert in. So like you said, like social media or marketing, which is one of the things I help with, but then things like legal technicalities or HR or like accounting, certain accounting and yeah. taxes. <laughs> Just finished that season. Everyone's it was lovely. Everyone's not an expert in taxes. Yeah. Yes. So, um, so people come to SCORE um, to volunteer mm -hmm. because it's a wonderful way of giving back. Mm -hmm. it's, it's fantastic to be able to see how you are able to help a person grow their business or start their business. Yeah. And sometimes people come to us, people come to us for ex ex expertise for sure, but a lot of people just need a little bit of encouragement. Yeah. And then they take off like nobody's business. Yeah. Because it's very lonely when you first start. Not only when you first start, but as you're growing a business, like it can feel so overwhelming and so daunting to do it by yourself. Yes. And so many people think that they've got to do everything. Mm -hmm. And so we often say, no. No. <laughs> you don't have to do it all. Just do what you're good at, and we'll yeah. get some people to help you do the rest. Yeah. So we have a lot of classes at SCORE. Can you tell me about some of the, we'll call them the foundational classes? Because mm -hmm. there's mentorship with the subject matter experts, but then SCORE also provides um, these ongoing classes, basically. What are some of those? The first class that we ask everyone to take, and a lot of people actually don't need this, but it's so you think you want to start a business. Uh -huh. <laughs> and a lot of people do want to start a business. It sounds great. It's so sexy. Yeah. But, um, and we don't do this in order to talk people <laughs> out of a, doing a business, but sometimes that's what happens. Sure. And a lot of people get even more excited. Yeah. And they learn what they're really going to have to do. They go back, they get a little bit more organized, and then they take some of our other classes and sign up for a mentor. Yeah. So we, in, in addition to that, we do um, how to write a business plan, mm -hmm. how to develop a business model. Mm -hmm. We also talk, we get a little bit more technical when we talk about developing a financial runway. 
Oh, uh, sure. We have something, we have got a class that's all about accounting and QuickBooks and things like that. So we do a lot of the basics. Mm -hmm. And then we also have lunch and learns where we step out a little bit and we take on topics that are a little bit more in depth. For mm -hmm. example, we're about to do something about CRM systems. Okay. I have had many, many clients that don't have CRM systems and I say how do you keep up with your clients and they say well I write it down on a napkin. On a napkin. So let me ask you because I'm wondering how many of our viewers might not know what a CRM system is like in and of itself. What is a CRM system? It's a customer resource management kind mm -hmm. of system yeah. and you can put in all sorts of information about your clients, what they like, what they don't like, what they last purchased, when their birthdays are, all sorts of things so that you can do hyper focused social media towards them and keep them engaged with your mm -hmm. company. Or just manage them. I always joke that um, when I refer to my CRM I talk about it being my Rolodex. Mm -hmm. So I'm, you know, to too young to have had an actual Rolodex, although that would be very fun to flip through the Rolodex. But um, it's like a digital Rolodex of everyone that you could potentially know, the yes. details about them that you might need to cultivate relationships, and then, like you said, to create deals or sell your products and services. So you're doing a whole workshop just about setting up a CRM for your business. Actually, we're doing two. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're doing two workshops because it's sort of a two-part thing. A lot of people don't know what a CRM is, mm -hmm. and then they're confused about what they should be looking for. Mm -hmm. do, can they use one that's free? Do right. they have to pay for something? What do they actually need? And then the second part is basically how do you create engagement mm -hmm. using your CRM system because now you've got it what the heck do you do with it? What do it? you do with all the data once you yes. put it in there? That makes yes. total sense. So you've got all of these different workshops for people at different levels, different stages of their business growth and development. Who are the people that are coming to SCORE? So we've talked about sort of the SCORE side of things. Talk mm -hmm. to me about the clients. Who are the clients of SCORE? You know, we always tell our, our clients to know who their real focus group is mm -hmm. because it's not everybody. Right. But I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> score is that, different, right? <laughs> score actually is for everybody, mm -hmm. at least initially. And a lot of people do come to us uh, that they've just got an idea for a business. Mm -hmm. Or they're a little bit further along and they need a little bit of a push, they need some help. And then we get people that come to us that want our help. And we can help them a little bit but we can't do really what they need. Sure. And so we hand them off to um, one of our partners. Yeah. We get a lot of people that come to us that have a technology, an app, mm -hmm. and something like that. And we can talk to them about basic business things, but if they really need help in app development, mm -hmm. we, we push them to someone else who can do that just slightly better than we can. So you're almost like, um, I don't want to say like a, like a yellow pages, but you know, we, clients can come to score and say, this is where I'm at and these are the challenges I'm having. And they can either get assigned a mentor or go to a workshop and figure out how to define that problem a little bit better, yes. get a little bit of help, and either solve that problem with a mentor and the resources that SCORE provides, or get sort of this Rolodex, if you will, this yellow pages of all of these other resources and organizations that could help them with their specialized need. Is that right? That is absolutely correct. I think that one of the really exciting things about SCORE, at least it's exciting for me, <laughs> is that I get to meet so many people. You know everyone. I learn so much from those people, yeah. but then I know people out in the community. So mm -hmm. if we can't help people, even if we can help people with what they need, I always like to introduce them to the people that I know out in the community yeah. because connections are what makes business successful. Absolutely. That's one of the reasons that we decided to call this Score Connect because in entrepreneurship, when you when you own a business, it can also feel almost feel like you're you're alone on an island. You're trying to figure out, you know, how do I how do I make this work? I've never done it before. I don't
don't know where to mm -hmm. find the answer. You can only Google so many yes. things uh, before you, you know, you kind of come to a, a dead end. And so um, SCORE and other organizations allow that connectivity so that you can find your peer group, uh, resources, and just those introductions that are going to help you leverage to make your business bigger, which is really, really great. So the clients that you see, how many clients does SCORE Nashville serve? Last year, we served about 2,000. 2,000? 2,000. With about 65, you said? 66 mentors? Yeah, with, with 30 mentors plus 30 mentors. Because, because subject matter experts are not allowed to have a, a, a client mm -hmm. totally. Um, but yes, with 30 mentors. You guys are putting in overtime in that retirement phase there. Yes, I'm just, <laughs> uh, if I was only paid for this job. This is, I was going to say, you are, uh, every time I see and talk to you, you are very busy with it. So I'm excited to learn more about the organizations that SCORE partnerships, mm -hmm. partnerships, partners with. Um, and I'd love to hear more about that when we get back from the break. Sounds great. Yeah, we'll be right back.